Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we're going to be going over how you can stay out of trouble using your email list because this is a thing. In March, the pre-orders for my new collection, Winner of Your Mom's Sodomy Prize for Poetry, Mostly New Poems 2021 to 2022, will be going on now. Links will be down in the description below and all this is brought to you by... Boom. Poetic Anarchy Press. My new small press. Yay. So let's get into the nitty of the gritty, shall we? This is the Federal Trade Commission's website, the FTC. And this is the Can Spam Act, a compliance guide for business. So let's go through this. Do you use email in your business? The Can Spam Act, a law that sets the rules for commerce email, establishes requirements for commercial messages, gives recipients the right to have you stop emailing them, and spells out tough penalties for violations. Despite its name, the Can Spam Act doesn't imply bulk email. It covers all commerce messages, which the law defines as any electronic mail message, the primary purpose of which is the commercial advertisement of promotion or commercial product or service, including email that promotes content on commercial websites. The law makes no exception for business-to-business -business email. This means all email. For example, a message to former customers announcing a new product line must comply with the law. Now, a lot of this is going to have legal jargon in it and make it kind of hard to understand. Um, and for me, hard enough to freaking read. But let's see how this goes, okay? Each separate, this is the thing that's crazy. Each separate email in violation of the Can Spam Act is subject to penalties up to $50,000, higher than that even. So non-compliance can be costly, but following the law isn't complicated. Here's a rundown of Can Spam's main requirements. Do not use false or misleading header information. You are from to reply to and routing information, including the originating domain name and email address, must be accurate and identify the person or business who initiated the message. That's not difficult. Don't use deceptive subject lines. The subject line must accurately reflect the content of the message. Now, this is really tricky because I feel like for a lot of people trying, especially if you use email service providers, like they they try to get you to use like a, almost like a clickbaity headline. But apparently that is kind of a gray area, you know? Keep that in mind, I guess. Identify the message as an ad. The law gives you a lot of leeway in how to do this, but you must disclose clearly and conspicuously that your message is an advertisement. I wonder how that works exactly. I guess if in the email you are saying, click here to be able to get blankety blank blank, that's pretty much an ad at that point. I've never gotten an email from someone where the first line was like, this is an ad. Tell recipients, recipients where you're located. There you go, post office box, you know, whatever. Tell recipients how to opt out of receiving emails from you in the future. Now this is pretty big. And this is why a lot of, like if you use MailChimp or MailerLite or things like that, you'll have at the bottom unsubscribe in the email so they can easily click that to be taken off your list. Whereas if you are just sending people sales emails through your Gmail account, there's not going to be anything like that. So that's kind of a big, a big deal. Honor opt-out requests promptly. Any opt-out mechanism you offer must be able to process an opt-out request for at least 30 days after you send your messages. Now here's the deal with this. If you are using your um, email list and you have multiple different email lists. This is why it's bad to just copy and paste people from your email list into another list. Because when you delete them out of one or they unsubscribe from one, it's not going to unsubscribe them from all of them. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's just, it's really shifty because someone can like unsubscribe or asked to be taken off your mailing list. And if that email address exists in another list of yours, they could get another email from you, even if it's like worded a little different. Like say, 
for me, like if I had like um, a uh, Matt Wall email go out and then someone's like, I don't want to be subscribed to this anymore and they unsubscribe. But before that, and I haven't done this and I'm not going to do this, but if I also had like a Poetic Anarchy Press mailing list, I, I wouldn't just transfer the people from the Matt Wall mailing list into the Poetic Anarchy mailing list because they would have to opt into that mailing list. And now if they unsubscribe from Matt Wall and then I send them Poetic Anarchy stuff, they're like, why am I getting this? You know what I'm saying? Monitor what others are doing on your behalf. The law makes clear that even if you hire another company to handle your email marketing, you can't contract away your legal responsibility to comply with the law. So that's pretty big too. And this is why sharing your email list with other people is a bad idea. So don't ever do that. And then just like there's more information here. Um, I'll have a link to this, I guess, in the description box below. So you can take a look at this if you have other questions that um, this hasn't gone over or anything like that. But like what questions do you have about email marketing? Does this freak you out? Does this make it easier for you? Like, what are you thinking? So um, let me know down below. And remember, guys, your mom in March. Okay. So I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.